is 8.39. Very good morning to you. This is Breakfast with Stephen and Anne. Should we take a look uh, through the newspapers? Uh, we're joined by Mariana Hotter and Kevin Schofield, political editor at Post UK. Lovely to see you again. Oh, hello. Well, we've managed to avoid the subject so far this morning, <laughs> but now we can't because Kevin's chosen it to talk about In the Sun, Matt Hancock's excruciating endurance in the jungle. Yeah, I mean, to the surprise of absolutely no one at all, he got chosen and probably will get chosen for every and possible this is because the trial. public choose who The public going to be. choose who it is, so he's just getting it in the neck, I think, every single time. Um, but I mean, what I was thinking was, you know, he said that um, he is looking for forgiveness. That's what he said. I think. I think he means forgiveness for what? For uh, cheating on his oh, wife. Oh, that's so right. Oh. And he got res and he resigned for that. Um, but I just think there must be easier ways to go about absolution than um, yeah, but going maybe on. not easier ways than earning allegedly four hundred grand. Probably less lucrative ways, certainly, yeah. of um, seeking forgiveness. But I just think. You know, why, why is he putting himself through? through that? I mean, obviously he is getting paid an awful lot of money if the reports are, are true, but uh, I just think any reputation that the guy had has been absolutely shot to bits. Yeah. We were discussing it earlier, it's like, well, what does he... Is he accepted now that his political career is over? Well, he must have. And is now just looking for the next chapter, which might be, you know, as some sort of celebrity, but I don't know. He's it's been... not celebrity material, that's the thing, it is it? I don't think so, but I think he maybe lacks the self-awareness to actually realise that. Yeah, and in the meantime, he's been humiliated on a nightly basis, criticised by his campmates, who are very angry about um, uh, COVID and the government's handling of the pandemic, and you just think, really? Is it really worth it? What do you think, Marianne? He's a serving MP, and I think uh, he had the the party whip withdrawn, which means that he's not a Conservative MP. He's currently an independent MP, but he's still an MP for his constituency, and I think if I were his constituent, I would be absolutely fuming that he's on TV in Australia rather than doing the work that he's being paid to do by us, the taxpayers. Yeah. They've done it before, uh, serving MPs, of course. They shouldn't Nadine, ever do Nadine it. Nadine Doris did it, and um, Penny Borden did that diving one, didn't she? Yeah, but that was flash, but I guess that was that didn't involve her being away from Britain, no. on the other side of the planet. Well, any of, any of, I mean, I just don't think you should. It's, 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 they've got a serious, proper job. Do it. We're in the cost of living crisis. You know, we're in. We're agreeing on something, aren't we? Isn't that lovely? Loving it. It had to happen eventually. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad I was here to witness. Uh, um, also, I think I'm a Celebrity is an absolutely disgusting programme that is absolutely full of animal abuse that we just somehow blithely ignore. Because well, they claim they, 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 they would insects. defend themselves against a, a charge of animal abuse. Well, they, they have won't. all sorts of care officers on standby. And the bits that but people eat are no longer live, I think. Are. No, uh, they are dead. I'm glad to hear it. have been contestants on the show and they say, oh, yeah, when we're in, you're in the coffin thing and you're squirming oh, about trying to do the task. Of course you're killing the animals that crawl under you. And they're absolutely terrified. The bottom line is, if you wouldn't do that and watch someone doing that with dogs or cats or kittens or puppies being terrified and they either die or are injured in the trial or they die of shock and stress afterwards, then we shouldn't be doing it to rats and and snakes well, and just, all the other to, things. To be fair... It's just disgusting. To be fair, I, 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 I just think, you know, watching someone eat a cow's bottom for entertainment is... Is gross. Is, what does I mean, it say about you if you enjoy watching I it? I mean, I just think that. Kevin watches it. Why do you, do you, watch, do you it, watch it, Kevin? Our kids love it. I'm blaming the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually, I mean, in real... God, I, 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 I don't want to sound like, like I'm going all woke or anything, but it's just like... Is, it good, is it good for the kids to be saying, oh, I mean, the stuff he was eating last Ooh, night... A parent. A terrible f parent. Fish eyes. Oh, yeah. I don't well, know. Well, well, mate, actually, we didn't watch it with him last night, oh, actually, so... All aspects of private it. parts. Well, that yeah, that is, yeah, yeah no, I, I, I agree with you. There's so much of a problem with that. It's more this kind of notion that it's, like, acceptable bullying. Yes, it is. Because... Everyone gangs up and goes, yeah, let's make them do that horrible, torturous thing. Ha, 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 ha. What? Like, that's yeah. not what I Although want to they, teach. They, they know, they know what they're signing up to as well. They, I mean, the, the uh, contestants know what they're getting, and they're very well paid for it. So well, I just it's ritual humiliation. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, ritual humiliation and hmm. bullying. I'm like, no, I just I'm out. Say, no, I'm, cool. uh, no, I think it's weird. Um,
um, very. Maybe we're just not on trend, though, but I don't mind not being on trend. I'll pass um, on your feedback to my children. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll pass on. I think something maybe whilst watching it, you should also have like a, a, like a serious conversation about appropriate behaviour yeah. and being kind to each other. Well, well, um, let's <laughs> not go down a track. Marriage in the Times, Marianne. Yeah, speaking of uh, consent, um, this is research by the think tank Civitas, who reckon that based on a kind of an exponential decay curve, um, by 2062, annual marriage rates will have fallen by more than 70% compared to uh, what they are today. And today, this really surprised me, they Marriage rates are only one couple for every hundred adults are getting married. What, the rest? Is, is that... Every, so some people are single, oh, but lots right, some other people are cohabiting, but mm, not but getting not married. married. And when you look at the socioeconomic mm -hmm. breakdown, far more wealthier people get married rather than people who are poorer. And the argument is the reason to kind of promote marriage is that you have more financial security because of the laws that we have. Um, also that... Well, part of the thing is that there's a huge pressure to have these great big weddings, isn't there? As, yeah. as if the marriage is about the wedding day. Mm. Whereas yeah. actually it's about the commitment to the other person. Now, it has to be said, you can be entirely committed to your partner without getting married. It's not for everyone. And I think, personally, we should have uh, sort of tax breaks and things like that that support couples and families to stay together rather than just marriage, oh. but call it what you will. I mean, one of the things, one of the people they, they quote here sort of says, oh, well, you know, it's been 10 years since a cab cabinet minister made a speech on marriage and why it matters. And I thought, mm, that's slightly that would put not me off the times, marriage. because I don't mm. want some kind of Jeremy Hunt to stand up and tell absolutely. me to get Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, shut yeah. up, you. No, no. Um, anyway, so there you go. So and also, yeah. women do better on cheating. They they appear they report being happier after they've cheated if they're the they're the person who's doing the adultering, whereas men tend to report being less happy. After they should they. be less happy. We don't they should that. be they should be miserable if you've done that. Every, I mean, everyone should be. Yeah, probably. But then again, Sorry. I have just got married. Yes, I so know. so my view is slightly tainted. <laughs> Which is good. I the, think it the, should the, be for the moment. Honeymoon glow. Look, while we're talking about the cost of living hitting marriages and things like that, Santa's Grotto is being. Yeah, I think this is this is really terrible. Um, fewer Santa's Grottos are opening now because of the cost of living crisis. Well, because of the energy crisis, basically the cost of running the grottos with all the lights, yeah. I imagine, and heating them, etc. Um, now. The grotto has obviously stopped because of the pandemic, um, so they're only just getting going again. So a lot of kids have never experienced a, a grotto, which I think is a great part of um, growing up or, you know, taking your own kids to it. But yeah... Um, well, it's like somebody else's, yeah, that'd be weird. Yeah, that would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't advise that. No. That would definitely be strange. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, so there's a, a garden centre here in Cornwall um, has put its grotto on ice. Really? After calculating, it would have cost twenty thousand pounds. Twenty thousand pounds to run it. So there's just there's no money to be made in it. Uh, but there's another one in, in um, Blackpool was, was cancelled. But there was another um, uh, woman who runs a farm, and she put her prices up to try and cover the costs and got absolutely dogs abuse for it. So she oh. said, "Well, what's the point?" You know, and she explained to people. It's not yeah. profiteering, it's because it's just to cover our overheads, but people just don't want to pay it. Well, so uh, it's, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely part of growing up. You could do an yeah. outdoor one, couldn't you? Well, you know, just have a couple of reindeer and a bit of fake snow. That wouldn't cost 20 grand. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be quite as festive. No, though, it might it? not be. Uh, oh, well, let us know what you think. Um, is it the end of the road for Santa's Grotto? Oh, it's the end of the road for you two. <laughs> right, uh, we'll uh, uh, so. You're done. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Mary Ann and Kevin. Thank you very much.